awesome sauce! Scene one, Apple, take one. One of the great things about owning a dog is this type of crap that they do to your screens. And uh, she's gotten a little older, so I don't think she's going to be doing it anymore by jumping up and scratching, but she apparently wants a doggy door, and she runs out of this all the time, but um, as seen in Exhibit A. Um, but I'm going to fix this, and I'm going to hope that she doesn't go through it anymore, and uh, I'll just have to kind of train her to wait for that uh, screen to uh, open up. But anyway, if you've never done it before, I figured I would just do a video to show you how you go about doing this. Sorry about the lighting, but it's about 5.30 in the morning, 6 o'clock, somewhere in that area, and uh, we got cloud cover. But I'm going to go ahead and take care of this. Generally, these are held in with uh, springs, with uh, wheels that are attached to springs. And you won't be able to just kind of like lift and pull this out usually, okay? You'll have to get something slipped underneath there to... Um, compress that uh, wheel and then uh, pull it out. So I've got a razor knife here and right here is the wheel and I'm just going to end up kind of getting up and under it and uh, kind of prying this up and then it'll kind of come off to the side like that. I'll do the same thing over here. Beauty shooting tacks. We're going to need a razor knife anyway. We got a handle here that it's going to have to come off. So typically, there's a uh, there's a slice somewhere within this rubber band that goes around the outside, and it's usually on a corner. And I didn't see it. Doesn't mean that it's not there. It's just I just didn't see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a uh, flathead screwdriver. You can use anything, and I'm going to get up and behind it. I, I had already started it. And after I get up and behind it, I can kind of start pulling on it like this to uh, get it out of that channel. And I'm going to do this all the way around. And I think that the... it's right there. I looked right there and I didn't see it. Um, and I think the new screen I got came with new stuff, but hard to say. Sometimes that stuff gets old and deteriorates and you don't have a choice but to buy some new stuff. The screen kit that I bought is pretty much the same material as what's here, which is fiberglass. And I think I spent $9 on it. But it also came, if I'm not mistaken, with everything that I need to do this. And that's really cheap. Now this is a fiberglass um, screen cheapest one. I got the cheapest because, well, let's face it, if my dog runs through it again, I'd be really pissed off if I spent a lot of money. Um, but you can get aluminum. It's a little harder to install, but it's the same principle. And uh, they have some other ones that are a little bit more durable that's supposed to be pet proof. But you're going to be you're going to be paying for that. You are definitely going to be spending money on that. So. Now we're not going to need the knife until it's actually time to put the screen back up really but what we want to do is we want to lay the screen down pretty much like this okay um, give yourself a little extra around the uh, uh, border here and I'm gonna give myself a bit I'm gonna give myself about a half inch around the border near the bottom the sides don't really make a difference because it's excessive, but I want to make sure I've got at least half there. Starting in a corner, I'm going to take this and um, kind of, it's going to be hard to get a wheel in the corner, so I'm using um, a flathead screwdriver to kind of get it started right here. As soon as we have that, we can kind of line this up and push. We can kind of line that up, give this kind of a gentle push. I, I'm pulling on this a little bit to kind of keep it tight. Um, the screen is probably going to get a wrinkle or two, and that's okay because we can make that taut um, a little bit later. Okay. Okay, so the bottom portion is in. 
and now I'm going to start going up the side. And when I'm doing the side, uh, the last, the last two, um, the last two sections are the most important because this is when we're going to be pulling on the screen and making it taut. Down here, it's a little important. Okay, so um, try to. Um, you know, kind of pull on the screen at the same time as you're, um, you know, shoving this, uh, shoving this down. If at any time you're seeing like a big bubble or something that's just really bad, you can always pull this cordage, this rubber cordage out and um, uh, fix it. Now when this goes into its channel down here, it is going to end up pulling on the screen a certain, to a certain extent and um, it's going to tighten it a little bit, okay? But it's not going to really be enough. It'll have like a, it, it, it'll, it won't really be tight, right? So during the time that you're, you're, you're putting this, it is kind of important that you, you, you find a spot, you pull on it, kind of lock it in place like this. Um, in order to create that tension on the um, uh, the screen material, okay. And this one we're going to have to pull as well, especially if we see that it needs a little bit of um, stretching. Like if you see an area that seems loose, right now this is all pretty damn tight, and you don't want to um, you don't want to overstretch it either because then maybe the frame will start buckling or you might even tear the screen so um, you're just making it where it's tight okay not over tight but it's tight and this right here actually doesn't even look like I have to pull it so now we get to this bottom corner and we can cut that uh, rubber piece off um, enough to where we can lock it in place down here using a razor uh, the outside channel you want to drag it down the outside of the channel to cut off the, the remaining do not drag it on the inside or the screen is going to come off okay but just take it drag it down the outside okay be careful when doing this make sure you, you don't hold it too flat because you might cut here Kind of hold it at an angle like this. Okay, so it's time to put this back up. And uh, I remember, like before, we had those springs that are pushing these wheels down, so we're going to have to kind of get up and under on both of these, and then once again, put something underneath it so we can go back onto the track and the eraser is thin enough that if we get it underneath there we can kind of slide it all the way back to the track where it needs to be okay so we got one right there this one this one same thing, push it up with the razor until it goes over uh, the, the, the track. I went a little too far. Okay. All right. When you have a look on your face like you're going to run through these. There you go, guys. That's all there is to it. Um, it is what it is. Now hopefully my dog does not run through it, but when I was in there and I was installing that handle, she had this look on her face like she was getting ready to uh, run through it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. You are not supposed to go out that anymore. Don't you do it. 
you want out, you're going to have to wait for me to open the door and then you come out. Okay. Good girl. That's how you're supposed to do it. Hopefully when she's excited, she just doesn't run through it. In the morning, she's very excited because she thinks that she can find a rabbit or a rat out here. And so she bolts. Good girl. I'm going to have to train her how to make sure that she doesn't run out this damn thing. Anyway, guys, that's that. And until next time, talk to you later.